Well, those living in poverty, people of color, and the elderly, all subgroups that doctors say are at a greater risk of getting the coronavirus. News 5's Mike Burkbank joins us now. And Mike, one community with a large population of all three is really trying to ramp up some testing. Yeah, Tracy, today for the first time since this pandemic started, the city of East Cleveland held a drive through COVID-19 test site. And the mayor tells me this is just the beginning. To say Marquis Ward is under the weather is more of a flu thing. Does not even begin to describe just how bad he's feeling. Saturday, I just felt like the world was falling out. The truck driver. That's what scared everybody. Who hasn't been behind the wheel since last week. I've been out in it since day one. Found himself in the passenger seat today, getting his nose swabbed. Better safe than sorry. To see if he has the coronavirus. I think somebody might have got a little bit too close to me. Ward, one of dozens of East Cleveland residents taking advantage of the opportunity. I heard it like through the grapevine that they was doing this up here. In the shadows of the shuttered playground at the Martin Luther King Jr. Center. This is the first event. Mayor Brandon King. Today we have enough tests to do about 400. Working with Cuyahoga County and a laboratory out of Florida to make this a reality. We are actually granted, I believe it's 10,000 tests. King tells me it will help meet the growing demand they discovered after conducting a survey. 98% of the respondents said that they did want the testing. The mayor points to East Cleveland's demographics. It's 98% African American. We're over 65% seniors. Factor in a poverty rate of near 40%, along with pre-existing conditions. Diabetes, hypertension. And King knows with each swab, they are possibly saving lives. This community is one of the most vulnerable communities. Any resident like Marquis Ward who is experiencing symptoms. Why take a chance? Or has been exposed to someone with COVID-19 or has underlying health issues is eligible for testing. That's great. While Ward waits for his results, he's looking forward to better days ahead. Getting better and getting back to work. That's my main hope. I just hope this crap just go away. As fast as it came, that's as fast as I want it to leave. And right now, Mayor King tells me there are more than 1,100 seniors living in apartments in East Cleveland without transportation. So the next step is going to be to bring this testing to them. In the newsroom tonight, Mike Brookbank, News 5.